Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. But this weekend, I am actually on my very first celebrity sailing. So I am excited to start sharing with you all my experience on Celebrity Cruise Line. It is my first one. Many of you know that I am from Royal Caribbean. That's normally always where I'm sailing at. But as I'm branching out and expanding some, I'm very excited to be here on the celebrity ship. Now, when we talk about cruise lines, there's really three different kinds of cruise lines that are out there. You're gonna have a mass market cruise line, which is gonna be where Royal Caribbean is included, Norwegian Cruise Lines and Carnival, MSC is also gonna be in that bucket. And then you can go up to a premium tier, which is supposed to be a little bit nicer. You're gonna have your Celebrity, which is where I am currently. You're gonna have Disney Cruise Lines and as well as Princess Cruise Line are gonna be captured in here. And then you're gonna have your luxury cruise, cruise lines for a very high price. That is going to include Oceana, Silver Sea, um, and even the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Club, one of the newest members to this category. But what makes Celebrity a premium cruise line? That's what I wanna talk about today is, you know, I can see a lot of little things that make it a premium cruise line that, you know, certainly add up, but then there's two really big items on here that I'm gonna talk about later on in this video that to me make Celebrity a premium experience or where I can really see that difference from a mass market cruise line such as Royal Caribbean to now this premium market cruise line with Celebrity. So let's talk about a lot of those small things first. And I've got a whole list over here so you may see me referencing that. But there are a lot of really small things that add up. The first being the restrooms here on Celebrity. So this is the common area restrooms where everybody can go. The thing that m surprises me the most here is that they have cloth hand towels for you to be able to use individual hand towels. So when you wash your hands, you don't have to just put it under the speed dryer or get one of the um, paper ones. You're using one of the cloth hand towels, which works much better. And it gives it that more sophisticated or premium cruise line feel. The next thing they're gonna do, and this is one that I know a lot of people are gonna like, is they give out little chocolates. So they do a turndown service every night and they put these little chocolates on your pillow and it's a small touch. I mean, it doesn't, I can't imagine this milk chocolate cost that terribly much, um, but it's just a nice little treat that they leave you at the end of the day. They also are gonna have proper canned water on here. So many of you may have seen the short that I made talking about um, Royal Caribbean's attempt at the cans of water we had the top to it. This you all has a screw lid on it. It is a solid drinking juice, or <laughs> drinking juice. It is a solid drinking container from Celebrity. It's got the marketing on it. But even this makes it feel more sophisticated, more premium. Then now that we've gone back to the plastic water bottles on Royal Caribbean, this one feels much nicer. The next thing that I'll say stays along the same path as you know drinking is they have a proper cafe on this ship. You can still walk up to the cafe, you can grab um, something to drink and wait in line there. But what we find that we really like to do is just to go and sit by one of the windows. They have fantastic service that comes over and takes care of us. They take our cafe order, whether you know, you all know that I'm getting an iced Americano with three to four shots and a little bit of skim milk in it. Um, and they're bringing that over to us in our seats. So it is a more proper and sophisticated experience. When you are boarding the ship, whether it is during embarkation or you're coming back from a port, another small thing that they do here is they set up a tent outside. So before you get onto the ship, you're gonna have the opportunity to take a clo cold cloth towel, rub it over your face, especially if you're in a hot climate. This feels amazingly good. And they're gonna have multiple flavored waters that you can drink. Again, it's just normal water with some cucumbers, some lemons in it. Um, it's nothing over the top, but it is this extra feature that does make it feel like a more sophisticated crowd. They're also gonna be playing some music here. So it kind of extends the ship feeling onto the actual dock, um, which I kind of really liked. But speaking of music, when you are on the cruise ship, another thing that adds to the premium cruise line feel is the music here is, I'll say more sophisticated on Royal Caribbean and probably other mass market lines, you're gonna find more top 40 type of songs. Here, um, you know, for instance, if you go up to their buffet, they're actually playing like spa-like music in their buffet area, which is kind of odd to me. I'm used to hearing like Royal Caribbean's Jar of Hearts. That's just one song that I always hear that they've got the same soundtrack um, that you hear every single cruise. Um, but here, it's been a lot more relaxing music, music I can't sing to, which isn't necessarily a preference of mine, but it adds to more of a calm environment in a buffet area that can be 
not come sometimes. So I've really appreciated hearing that throughout the ship and they've got much better holiday music than Royal Caribbean has. That I can absolutely say. I don't know if many of you saw the TikTok I made about that um, over on the other platform, um, but Royal Caribbean's Christmas and holiday music has not been up to par. Here, they're actually playing decent holiday music that I'm really enjoying. And the last small thing that I'll mention, and this is definitely not for everybody, is they have guest lecturers on this ship. So adding to a sophisticated or premium cruise line is they have different lecturers that they have brought onto the ship to talk about the ports we are going to. So there was one about sunken ships, treasures, there's an emotional behavior one. So it's not always about the port, sometimes it's just an interesting topic, but these guest lecturers, you know, allow you to come learn, be educated, and kind of feel a little bit more sophisticated, and you're certainly not getting that on um, one of the mass market cruise lines. So we are also staying in an aqua class, and so I know that the aqua class is, you know, something you have to pay more for, so not everybody's gonna get this experience, but there's three key things that I wanted to call out about the aqua class that I am really enjoying. The first is they brought me fresh flowers. How neat is this? Like. It is a real flower on the ship. There's actually a lot of real flowers on this ship, um, orchids and all, but the fact that they brought one to the room to have here was just a really, really neat touch. They also are gonna bring canapes, canapes? You all know the word I'm talking about here. I'm not great at pronunciations. Um, to the room every day, and there's in these little bento boxes of four different items. There's normally a sweet treat, a savory, some kind of a protein. Those have actually been really good. Our stateroom attendant, knowing that um, there's two guys staying at this room, has been bringing us two of those because we get a little bit more hungry than others, I feel like. Um, but they have been an actual really nice treat. There's also, and I don't know if you can see over my shoulder here, I'll move a little bit. They have decorative pillows. So when, you know, I think of a cruise line, they normally just have the normal white pillows that are up there in this cabin. And I think it's exclusive to the aqua class is that they are gonna have a throw pillow and they're gonna have a decorative sham underneath that. So just again, a really nice touch, brings a little bit more of a homey feel to it that you don't find in the mass market, but I really enjoy having those little touches on my cruise ship. Now let's talk about the big differences. So these are what I think really sets it apart. The other things are nice to have that add up, but you know, I don't necessarily need them, but these are what really make a premium cruise line, that premium cruise line. And the first is gonna be the food. So it is very noticeable that the food on this Celebrity Infinity Sailing is better than that that I have been getting on Royal Caribbean because it is a premium cruise line. When I go up to their buffet here, which is called the Ocean View Buffet, it is similar food, if you will. It is pizza. They have an Indian section. They have a Mexican section. They have a pasta bar. They have soups. They have a lot of the same kind of foods that you're going to find on a mass market, mass market cruise line such as Royal Caribbean, but it is going to taste much better. I was actually quite surprised. The first time I walked around, I was like, gosh, like all this stuff kind of looks the same. And then I started eating what I picked up and I was like, oh wow, this is different. This is actually much better buffet food. I still have not been up there in the evening yet. This has been for lunch, um, but the food has been very, very good. One of my favorite things is they have an ice cream station um, in the Ocean View with like 10 different flavors. And I think that it's all homemade ice cream and it is fantastic. Their ice cream on this ship, I mean, is better than any that I've had um, on any other cruise line. I am in love with the ice cream on this ship. They also are gonna have a better main dining room. And since I'm in aqua class, I am able to eat over in blue as well. And here, the food again, is gonna be a really high quality. It's gonna be a lot of food that I am familiar with that I've seen, but what I'm finding is they take a little bit more of a creative approach on it. In blue, for instance, they've got a healthier section, which is always appreciated on the cruise ship, but then they've served quail, they've served pheasant, they've got grilled octopus. These are all really neat things that we've been able to take part in, and it is a more sophisticated experience. Royal Caribbean and Mass Market is certainly not serving me a quail or any kind of pheasant, um, and I really enjoy being able to try and eat different things. They still have a solid classic menu if you want to order from that and get something that's more traditional. You don't always have to venture out, but for those of you that do want to try something different and want to really push yourself to have an experience with food, this ship is really going to allow you to do that, whether you're in the main dining room called Trellis or you're over in the aqua class um, area called Blue. And the desserts in all of these locations, y'all, is 
fantastic. I don't think I've ever had as good of desserts as I'm having on Celebrity right now. If you have a sweet tooth, this is your cruise line. You have found it. Between that ice cream I just talked about, they've got gelato. They had an apple tartine the other day that blew our minds away. It was so good. But they consistently have very, very good desserts. And for me, that is a huge win as I have an amazingly sweet sweet tooth. The second big thing that I'm going to call out here is the crew. And so I am not going to say that the crew here is better than on other cruise lines or mass market. There are plenty of amazing crew members on board mass market cruise lines. On Royal Caribbean, many of them are actually my friends, so I would not say that you are less than these folks. What I will say is all of the crew members work very hard. The celebrity difference that I am finding here in that premium feel is that the crew takes more time. I think that they've figured out their staffing model on the celebrity sailing different than on mass market, where the crew is actually not running around with like a chicken with their head cut off. Oftentimes, you know, the energy from crew on a mass market cruise line is a go, 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 go. It is very hurry up. Um, and this is really apparent in the main dining room. Um, you're seeing, you know, people just trying to move really, really quickly. The energy there is very quick and I get pulled into energy sometimes. Um, and so I don't always enjoy being in those environments, but here on Celebrity, everything has been a much slower pace. And I think that's because they actually have enough crew. I'm not waiting any longer, um, but I think that they've found the right balance of, I don't know if it's more crew members, if the ratio is different, um, but their crew here is able to spend more time. They're walking around. They seem happier. I don't know if maybe that's some of the uh, included gratuities. They know that they're already getting paid, that they're allowed to be happier or they can be happier on the sailing. Um, but that is really noticeable to me on the ship. It's just the crew members are taking more time. They seem happier. So those are all the reasons I am on day six of my 12 night cruise on Celebrity. Those are all the things that I've already picked up on that to me have really made the cost difference to get into a premium cruise line. It's what you're going to find. It's what's going to make it worth it, if you will. Those little differences that add up and then the amazing food that I'm finding on here and the crew members who are actually able to take their time. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.